Water Rights, a poem inspired by the documentary film Flow for Love of Water. Water Rights, Ownership and Deceit, Water Rights and Subsidies, Government and Corporations, and their newlywed philosophies and power hierarchies. They still are natural resources and profit off of the community. They sell it back for a fee when it used to be free and healthy to consume. And those who are guilty cannot be held accountable for their misdeeds. They have a get out of jail card free. Thou, the holy order of water they tamper with to centralize the flow Another means for the central bank to control development and centralize the world's growth. The operative, a for-profit private system paid for by money lenders who are, who are exempt from lawful action. They cannot be sued, found guilty, or be sent to prison. They construct the pillars of this institution to homogenize cultural diversity and bankroll our global ecological organization and the people who sustain and preserve the natural order of systems. They employ the do for self while destroying the do for the community, and they call it self-defense and acting inhumane on behalf of securing their family. It's blasphemy, yet within the corridors of our institutionalized mentality, we do not see it, or anything else that does not exist within the castle walls, we do not believe it stuck behind the forefront and blend in with the background perfectly so as to be unseen but not to go unnoticed just behind the scenes holding creditor strings manipulating the stream of assets so they can lounge in pools of money while they feed on the greed that they share symbolically so we stand here and exhibit our power politically while they lobby and murder us monetarily but at the end of the day for the winners it's just fun and games, while the losers die of cholera and other waterborne diseases and give birth to deformed babies regularly. But the powers that be will tell us there's plenty more for us to eat, much more clean water during a drought for everyone to drink now that we've pipelined our equity. While they unequivocally dissolve the faculties of speech into oblivion, we drive onward in pursuit of our day-to-day -day monotony drinking our sanitary, poisoned, bottled tap water while Coca-Cola divest and divert our destiny. And yet, there is still hope for us to reclaim our stolen prosperity because Article 31 of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights is right now in the process of becoming our future's history. The right to clean and safe as well as natural water sources for all, regardless of cultural and economic decision-making and policies. We've undone the forces that are coursing through our earthly body by cutting off our waterways, arteries, and veins that have grown and been nurtured from a baby through childhood and youth and into mature being. And now the blood does not reach the heart because we have cut off our mother's hand and like water, if we stood in their way, they would rather us all be damned. And now, there were people everywhere with no other purpose or hope but to take a stand. Because water is life, and theirs is being taken from them, quick. So while they, must, so while they make their stance, we can never quit. We must go back this time to mend our spirits, back to the UN and make amendments so that we can move forward responsibly once again with our global commitments.